planting is underway at greenhouses all over, including Mayflower and Hobart. Angela Kelly is there this morning getting a few tips. Hi, Ange. Hi, guys. Good morning, everybody. How would you like to be in 65 degree temperatures? I am this morning here at Mayflower Greenhouse in Hobart, and we're getting some tips on spring planting. They're very busy here. They've got things like heliotrope growing and lots of other plants. This is Jan. He is the owner here. Good morning, Good morning. to you. Good morning. So uh, tip number one for our viewer, we've got to start thinking about actually planting and sowing the seeds. At this point, I would, I would start thinking and uh, getting ready because it's still kind of too early to sow the plants because if you'll sow them, they'll germinate, they'll be tall, spindly, leggy, and then they won't work. So right now, go through the catalogs, go to your local nursery to see what what's there, what do you want, the item that you cannot live without, and then start. Some seeds you basically can sow like in a bulk, bigger, bigger flat, uh, that, that uh, will accommodate quite a few different seeds, and uh, then you, you basically very nicely level the surface of the sow, of the, of the uh, flat, and then get your seeds and then do some sowing. Uh, very small, so you have to be really careful because if you put too many of them in one spot, it will not work. So basically with this little motion, just you can see it in a good light that seeds are falling down on the ground and uh, you're basically done, done with that. To make it a little bit easier, you can use a little device like that. You can open it, whoops, I cannot open, and have those little openings right here. It depends what kind of seeds you're sowing. Let's say small seeds would be somewhere right here, and uh, this will help you to dispense those seeds very mm. evenly. Very nice. When you're done with that, you can use kitchen like sieve, strainer, strainer or sieve, yeah. and uh, cover those seeds. You can see the soil falling down, oh, but yeah. covering do not go too thick because it will be a problem. General rule is that soil on the top should be like one and a half uh, dimension of the of the seed. So if seed has a let's say one eighth of an inch, so it should be around mm -hmm. two eighths of an inch or so on the top. And how often should we water? water uh, this? You basically water it once after you sowing, and do not use a strong uh, water uh, source like uh, oops basically like window uh, um, use a spray bottle basically yeah, exactly yeah. and works perfectly it's more gentle and then leave it on like a windowsill after you've covered it perfect yes but if it will be uh, too hot uh, you have to take it off okay. and, uh, away from the heat register okay. to cut down on the watering you can use dome you can use plastic bag insert it and uh, you're mm -hmm. good to go so this is basically something that we're going to be doing in a week or two but get your supplies ready now start thinking about what yes. you actually want to grow mm -hmm. Jan thank you so much sure thank you back to you guys